Good day and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing an old fashioned try on and we have a sponsor. This is our second sponsor so we're moving up in the world. People are taking notice. We're kissing hands and shaking babies. We're getting out there. I am in a new spot today. I'm trying to figure out exactly where I want to be in the house. I'd love like my own background like I see in other YouTube videos, but we live in a one bedroom apartment in Vancouver. It is teeny weeny. I'm like, do I put up a green screen behind me? What do we do? So we are in the living room right now and I got my little background going on right now. I'll link the um, YouTube channel. And then this is my boyfriend's board game wall. And my boyfriend is a designer board game player and I guess so am I now. And these are all our beautiful, lovely board games. Let me know if that's something you guys would be interested in seeing or hearing more about because I actually don't think there's enough channels talking about um, these board games. Like, they're so fun and interesting. Like, I was like, okay, babe, sure, let's do that. But I actually really love it. So today I have a giant Sephora box. I'm so excited. Uh, it was my birthday recently and Christmas, and I got a lot of gift certificates um, for gifts. So I immediately, immediately, immediately spent them. Like immediately. Like I got a gift certificate and probably that night or the next day I spent it. So here we are. So we are going to dive right into this. Grab your beverage of choice. Today mine is a delicious cup of coffee. I got these new mugs from my mom for Christmas. She gave me, oh, for my birthday, she gave me an espresso. I'll like insert a little video. So the other one's Is it? I absolutely love and adore this Nespresso. It is so amazing. Uh, this is actually just a regular cup of coffee because I have the Nespresso for when I have one like one cup of coffee and in the morning I drink like three cups of coffee and one of my first gifts that my boyfriend ever gave me was a like a ninja coffee machine which is awesome it's the best coffee machine I've ever had so I just make like a full pot of this and I have some international delight butter pecan going in there today mmm so good okay I'm gonna pull my hair back Oh, I also got this new sweet Samsung watch. I love it. I need to like figure out all the like doodads, how to like utilize it to its fullest extent because I want to be able to, you know, know all the things. I'm not like a techie person at all, but I have so much good technology that I'm like, oh gosh, I really need to figure out how to use it. Okay, so let's open up our Sephora box. We have our mystery sponsored product. We also have for, I have been wanting this NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation for so long. It's been on so many people's like best foundation list. I have it in medium 1.5 Velarius. I don't know how to, that's how you pronounce it. Velarius, Velarius. We're just gonna go with that. Very excited to try this out. And then I have the Morphe Mist and Mingle Continuous Setting Spray. Just because I got this because I've heard it's really good and it's also, it was on sale. Um, a cult favorite goes extra. I've heard the Mister is really good on this one. So I'm very excited to try that. And I mean, you can never have too much setting spray. Setting spray is one of those things I use in. Like I can't buy too expensive of a setting spray because I will just use it all the time constantly constantly I have the Too Faced pumpkin spice palette now this is interesting because I don't think I own anything from Too Faced other than their concealer oh I do have their worn this way foundation as well it's not my favorite but I'm actually almost done it um, but this palette is one of those types of things where I looked at it immediately I'm like I will use every single color in there very rarely I'm just gonna rip this open guys I can't open it very rarely will I have a palette that I'm like I'll use every single color but this one oh wow the mirror is massive look at that mirror I will use every single color in that this is totally like my 
favorite type of color story. This is the one thing that's going to get the least use out of me. I'll still use it, definitely, especially as, like, a liner if I'm doing a pink look. But I do have, like, better pink color story palettes in general. So I'm really... Oh, they say it's supposed to smell like pumpkin spice. Let's see. I mean, a little bit faintly, but nothing crazy. Look, it's my cat, Lara. Say hi, Lara. So cute. I have another palette. Oh, I have three palettes in here, guys. I'm nutso. This is the Makeup by Mario uh, Master Metallics palette. I really want the, like, nude regular palette, but um, I have so many of those, so I couldn't, like, for a $60 palette, like $70 with tags, I couldn't justify buying another nude palette. So, oh, look how beautiful this is. So nice. Because I actually wear metallics quite a bit. Does this not have a mirror? Oh, it does. It's just like, um, it's got a shield on it. This is beautiful. I'm very excited to try this. Like, I'll use that. Although these, like, these colors seem similar. These colors seem similar. Like, these colors seem similar. These colors seem similar. So that's interesting. You'd think that we'd throw in, like, maybe a more lime green or a black or a darker brown or like a really bright bright okay, i'm just gonna dive right into this and see how the color payoff is. if it's not good i'm gonna return it oh yeah <laughs> beautiful for a second there for a second there i was doubting mario i'm interested to see what his new foundation is going to be like i've heard it's quite thin like which isn't my jam, which is funny though, because I just got together a bunch of stuff for like my favorite Best of Beauty um, awards, my first annual Best of Beauty awards that's gonna be coming up for you guys. And both of my foundations were what I would call on the thinner side, like not full cover. So maybe my tastes are changing. Anywho, I'm gonna see if other people like it enough that I'll buy it. Like I wait, right? Obviously this is an old classic. And I waited on the ambient, which I'm wondering if I should go get a different color for that. It's quite yellow for me. Okay. I have the Warm Wishes Effortless Bronzer Stick in Happy Soul by Rare Beauty. Very excited about this one. I've heard that this glides on quite nice and um, blends really easily. My next palette is an oldie but a goodie, the Modern Renaissance by Anastasia. I've wanted this for a really long time. I have. I love Anastasia palettes. The Soft Glam is my absolute favorite. Ooh, this one's velvet. They don't make them velvet anymore. Oh, man. You can tell this is like an older palette because they have the brush. They don't have the brush anymore. See, like, what a beauty. I will use to the death all of these colors like I will this is gone in my soft glam palette and this one this burnt orange is almost gone in my so I will use those till they're gone so I know so I got two samples I got the CC new glow color correcting because I've never tried that so I'm looking forward to trying that I also got this Gucci rouge lip color I don't usually buy like the Gucci I don't usually go for if I get a sample I don't usually get a lip because they're usually very pink or red and I'm not like a huge bright pink or red lip person so but this one looks interesting because it's so it's like suede like it literally feels like suede so I just wanted to try it I just wanted to see what it was like and I can always like use it as liner and use something else even for a sample this is nice packaging yeah, it is super red, but like, look, can you see that texture on it? It looks suede -y. So I'm very excited to try that. Let's just do a little, oh wow, it comes on. Really, that was like, I barely touched it and it was like, whew, just skimmed across me. Okay, so we have two more items. I got this Bumble and Bumble Pret a Powder. Um, just to help me with volume and dry shampoo at the crown. I always find that powders work better than a spray. 
it just does I don't know I thought this was a little bit bigger than this this was seven dollars for this teensy weensy little thing but I mean I'll, I'll use it so and then I finally got the Kosas Revealer Super Creamy and Brightening Concealer now I did something a little bit different with this one this is in 4.5 N light medium with subtle pink undertones which sounds perfectly perfectly my, like my skin tone light medium with subtle pink undertones that sounds exactly like my skin tone so I didn't get like a lighter one because I saw somewhere online that it's like as you age you should have the concealer oh, it actually looks pretty dark um, that you should actually have the concealer be more your actual skin tone than something lighter <gasps> okay guys that's everything I got let's dive right in since I don't have a new primer, I'm just going to be using the She Glam Birthday Skin Primer. It's funny, I have this tendency when I have something that's like quite large. And I haven't found a primer that I like absolutely adore. Like I really like the Elf Hydro Grip Primer, but I haven't found a primer that's like my be all end all primer. I bought the Glowish Huda Beauty Primer recently and makeup by Cheryl really likes it but I wonder if it's because she has dry skin and I have oily skin so I haven't found a primer that I'm like just absolutely adoring I wonder what kind of tests I can put my makeup to maybe I should just start doing like half and halves of my face on a long day and then the winner that day I'll still wear on the next day and then I'll do a new primer I don't know I'm gonna look into it and by look into it I mean think about it because I want to do some sort of test to figure out what primer that I own is the best or what else I can get um please comment below if you have a great primer that you love I'm so excited to go in with this NARS soft matte foundation hopefully it's the right it's the right shade. I do most of my shopping from Sephora online. Oh, that looks great. Online these days, except for color matching. I went in recently. It's a little yellow. Yeah, it's a little yellow, but maybe I'll go get a new one. Oh man, the cat litter box just went off. We have a litter robot and it's like right beside me right now and it just started running so sorry about the sound tell you what I'm gonna jump ahead so we do not have to listen to the sound okay that doesn't look too bad color wise I always find that my first initial instincts of a foundation are like tainted when I do my makeup in natural light because I'm getting older and I look at my skin and I'm like Ugh. oh man my skin is aging so I just gotta we gotta be kind to ourselves guys that's something I would like to do a little bit more in 2023 is be kind to myself I'm pretty hard on myself especially looks wise which I have been my whole life I grew up with three really beautiful best friends and a beautiful sister and I think I've just felt less than for a long time so I'd really like to work on that and my boyfriend's actually been so helpful in that case like he's so he loves me so much and he makes me feel so beautiful he's so kind okay so we're gonna leave that on for now like that and we're gonna go into the concealer so this is the Kosas I'm very excited to try this for the first time and I think this has like skincare benefits so it is quite it's like the exact same color I don't think I've ever had a concealer that was like the exact same color like that. Well, let's see how we like it. Look how well that's blending in. So maybe this is like a new way I'm going to be doing makeup, right? Which is funny because the powder I got for my under eyes is the Laura Mercier Secret Blurring Powder, which is like a white powder. So maybe I'll switch powders because I think it would be like counterproductive to do a super white blurring powder underneath my eyes when I was like I'm gonna do the same color as my foundation it seems weird that looks lovely actually I really like that I do need a lip chap let's get some lip chap 
I have my new favorite lip chat. I bought this because I was at work and like, I only had lipstick. I didn't have lip chap and I was like so frustrated. So I just went and bought this like Burt's Bees Coconut and Pear. Such a delicious smell. And then I got a Burt's Bees Strawberry one in my stocking and I was like, I just bought one. Okay, we're gonna move on to the Rare Beauty. This is in Happy Soul bronzer stick. I'm just gonna put it right on my face. I'm just gonna put it right on. I'm gonna use my e.l.f. Putty Primer. Can you hear that? It's my cat trying to get in to the room. My cat loves to, oh, she totally got in. I need to go closer. My cat loves to like snuggle in the morning. So she'll like, if we come out of the room, like to use the bathroom, she like sneaks in so she can snuggle with us. That's pretty. It did blend quite easily. My poor little kitty cats just want attention. Ian and I have gone away a couple times um, since we started living together a couple years ago and the cats just hate it. Like they're taken care of. Ian's best friend comes and lives here and we have security and we got a camera and we can watch them and talk to them if we want. But like they just have such separation anxiety and then when we come back, they're like all over us, which I mean is nice to be loved and kind of understandable. It's not like you can tell your cats you're going on vacation and you'll be back. So when we went to Mexico, we went for two weeks and they're like, where have you gone? Like, you know, probably thinking we abandoned them or something, which makes me sad because you can't be like, cat, I'm going to Mexico, you know. Ian's 40th birthday is, I'm going to put this on my brush just to do my hairline. I think that might work better. Ian's 40th birthday is coming up and he's not like a party guy. Like he's not like, let's have a big party because like he doesn't really drink. Like I wish I could perfectly execute his birthday, you know? I think I might sneakily take him to Vegas. He does not watch my channel. Like he doesn't, like he's super, super, super supportive. He like talks about my channel with other people and says I'm a natural and is like, you know, does anything he can to like help. But you know, like he's not gonna sit there and watch every single one, which I do not care or require of him. That would be silly. So I can talk freely here. And I don't think he'll ever hear it. Guys who watch, who know me and who know Ian, do not tell him. My secret plans. Okay, ooh, I liked that. Listen, so you pull it open and then you go like this, listen. Oh, satisfying. I like that, you know it's not gonna come off. Okay, I like that. It's, I don't know, it's nothing to write home about. It, like it worked really well, blended really easily, but We'll see as time goes on if it becomes one of my favorite. What's this? I don't know. I'm like, red rum, red rum. Shall we blush it up? We shall. So I'm going to use the Patrick Ta. This is the, she's so, oh, she's that girl. She's that girl. That girl. Which is funny because I think that this came out before like the huge that girl trend. You know that? that that girl trend it's like oh you're that girl who like wakes up at five o'clock in the morning and you know goes to the gym really early and journals and stuff which is funny because like that's totally og laura i've definitely slipped off the journaling but like you can see like right here right there right there those are all my journals there's like nine of them that's completely full i slipped off in the next little while that's a good idea for i get some time off in january it's a great idea to get back back on that and i also want i was thinking yesterday i've i'm very perilously close to finishing my first novel and so i want to definitely get back on that as well i love this blush 
I think it's beautiful. I think it it um, blends in super easily and I love the color. I think it's freaking phenomenal. I'm gonna just go in with my blender into my Wet n Wild Clarifying and do my under eyes. And then I'm just gonna do a little bit of that all over my face. I'm not gonna do my usual like spray setting powder and then melt it in because I feel like the Morphe one isn't quite as wet as I would need to do my regular setting powder and setting spray routine. And I think I just wanna try this out. So we'll see. Just gonna lightly powder to set the face. Nothing crazy. And then we will move on to the eyes. The eyes. Gorgeous, darling. Gorgeous. Okay, so I have like three palettes, guys. I have the Modern Renaissance, I have the Makeup by Mario, and I have the Pumpkin Spice. I don't know which one to dip into. I think I'm 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 itching to get into this. I really am. I'm itch I'm itching, guys. So okay, I'm gonna do this. Okay, so we're gonna find a transition shade. And I think I'm gonna do toasted right here. Toasted. She's toasted. It was my staff Christmas party. It's January, I know, but we live in, we live, we work in the, I almost said film industry. That's my other industry. We work in the, um, wow, that color pff, immediately. Like that is not a transition. That is its own shade. That is like, pshaw, 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 pshaw. that makes me so happy because you never know. I've, I don't, I don't buy Too Faced palettes often, ever actually. And so I don't know what the color payoff is right away. That was so, where did I go into? Toasted. Did I? Yeah, I did. Wow, that color was so pal right in the kisser. So it was our staff Christmas party the other day. Um, and we celebrated in January, obviously, because December is such a busy, busy time for the restaurant industry. It's funny. I've worked for this company for like seven years and I don't think I've ever posted about it on social media because I'm an actor, right? So I wanted to like put that as front foremost, I am an actor and I don't think I've ever really talked like on my social media about the restaurant, but it's such like a prevalent part of my life and I shouldn't be like ashamed of it, right? So, you know, I'm just like a lowly server slash actress. I it's like a cliche, but I really love it. Like, I actually really love, this is so funny. Okay, I'm gonna go into Crust Issues. So funny, this is like, what a funny, funny. Um, So we had such a good time at the staff party the other day. I'm trying to find the best place for this mirror. It was at this club called Mansion, which I'm, I, I'm 10 years sober. I don't drink. I don't go to clubs anymore. I used to. I was such a bar star back when I lived in Calgary. I loved to dance. I was a huge freaking drinker and dan I would be the girl who's like on the speakers dancing constantly. I loved it. I thought it was so much fun. And so it very felt very reminiscent of that time because I was the first person on the dance floor. I'm like, nobody's dancing. This is lame. Let's go dance. So I dragged a couple of hostesses out there, which was super fun. And soon the whole dance floor was filled. And it was just like, I was like, oh, I remember this. This is what this feels like. Oh, so great. I like that crust issues. It actually reminds me of the burnt orange from the Modern Renaissance palette and from the Soft Glam palette. Okay, so I'm going to go into Second Helping, which is this bright one right here. And we're gonna do just like a teensy weensy bit, like nothing. Yeah, cause that's pretty freaking bright. How are you guys? How was your holidays? My holidays were good and bad, like high highs and low lows. I went home for Christmas, uh, which is Calgary. And I haven't been home for Christmas, my mom tells me since 2018 and because of the weather here in Vancouver and I guess everywhere like it was just a freaking shit show with the flights but I mean WestJet 
completely came through for us. Our first flight was canceled, then we were delayed, 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 but we got there. Like, we got there in the same day. So, I mean, it took us, like, almost 24 hours completely from when our first original flight was supposed to happen. But we did it. We got there. And then, I mean, holidays are such a high pressure, high emotion times within families and it felt like really different this year for us I'm not quite sure why and Ian was so sick he still is actually I don't I'm so frustrated because Ian's been sick for like two weeks and we've been to the doctor and he took his medication and he like has tinnitus in his ear and his sinuses are blocked and it's like at that point what do you do like this poor guy is still sick and we like he has another call with the doctor in literally like 10 minutes and like he's still sick like what do you do what do you do what do you do I don't know I don't know what to do okay I'm going to find use some of these glitters yeah I'm gonna smudge a little bit more of this crust issues <laughs> right here and I'm gonna put this on top of my eye look right now wow that's beautiful that's beautiful I really like it and the like it's going on so creamy and so pigmented it's really pretty all right let's try this squash it which is like a darker I just want to get my hands in everything. I just want to touch all these colors and show what they do. Yes. Gorgeous. I'm loving this. This is so like my type of like a very warm orange type of look. My cat's trying to get into the bedroom again. She's obsessed. She wants snuggles. I love that absolutely love it okay so I'm just gonna leave that that way uh, and let's do some eyeliner I don't have a new eyeliner so I'm just gonna do the essence extreme last extreme lasting on the bottom to open up my eye cuz she tired today she tired um, but I have the day off so I'm very excited and then we're gonna do like a black regular eyeliner up top had to have a little time with the shots because they were feeling lift out so i'm just going to use another essence mascara just to do my black and today i'm going to try to use up my rise mascara it was given to me in a set but i get annoyed because look how short that is it's like how am i supposed to get in there with this shortish of short brushes don't know I don't know. I sincerely thank everyone who messaged me with support and advice. I cannot believe it and felt so understood not alone. With this mascara, I'm not quite sure how I feel because it separates the lashes really nice. It coated them really nicely. I feel like I don't have a fair advantage with this tiny winky little brush. Like if I had a long brush, I feel like I would be able to figure out what, how much I like it. I'm not sure. It's not as thick as I'd normally like, so there's that. But it's not bad. The foundation looks good. I think I'm done. Other than, let's put on some highlight. I have this Master Chrome highlighter. And then I'd like to put on a lip. I don't want to use this Gucci one because I think that's going to be just something I try and not something I like wear full on. While I was looking for a lip, I found my new Clarins lip oil, which I have not tried yet. I bought this uh, during the Sephora sale in, I think, November or December. Oh, yeah. That's the stuff. So good. I like that a lot. Okay, so now we have our sponsored product. This was the first time that a company had reached out to me and asked me to review something for them. So I was so 
super excited. And we have the Eye Method Beauty Perfect Eyebrows in a Second. I have seen this. This is a stamp, I believe. It's like a stencil and a pomade. I have yet to open it. So we're going to open it and give it a little look-see. A little test -a I'm very excited. I hope this works because I am not great at my eyebrows. And... I would like to be better. The color is 03. Do you know what I love is that they looked at me. Someone, someone, I don't know who you are out there, looked at me and went, this is her color. So thank you very much. I think actually Alex, it might be Alex, is who I've been communicating with. Comes in this nice bag, which I actually really like. And we're gonna zip this bad boy open and see what we have. We have some instructions. So you determine your ideal eyebrow shape by aligning a brush vertically from the center to figure out which stencil works best for you. So we're gonna first choose a stencil that fits us best. So let's look at all these stencils. Stencil time! Oh wow, there's so many. Oh, they're left and right. Oh guys. How do I, how do I, figure, how do I figure this out? Weirdly, weirdly the first one. Looks pretty good. Okay, I'm going to take all of these pieces of plastic out. I should. Nope. Not that one. Nope. Not that one. Number two. Oh, and you flip it over. Okay. Oh, maybe that one. No. Hmm. What an interesting... Oh, this is thin. There's like, look at, it's a start here on the tail. Oh, that's actually not bad but I think it might be a little thin. Let's see what else we got. There's a whole other packet with different shapes. I wonder how they like find the shapes, you know? If they just like look at like women online or if they like consult with an expert eyebrow stylist or whatever. Hmm. I don't quite know how to pick my own shape, guys. That one looks pretty good. It looks a little thick, though. I like it, though. Maybe it would help me, like, create a new shape. I think this one has too big of a arch. Yeah, it does not fit. Oh, that one's good, too. Huh. So interesting. That one is too thin. I can tell. This one is also too thin. I can tell. I wonder if they're like sized on thickness. I wonder if they're all like the same shape. No, they're different shapes. Two, too thin, three, five. I think I'm gonna try five. Five looks good. I want a little thicky thick, right? Okay, so I have my stencil. Now let's see what we do. Oh, this one's five as well. What's the difference between these? Five. Oh, they're the exact same. Oh, there's two fives. Oh, it's two. It's two of the same one. Like there's one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Is what it looks like to me. So next it says dip the sponge brush into the pomade. Tap your sponge in the lid of the pomade and then stamp it, fill it in, and blend it. I'm very excited, actually, because me and brows, like, I definitely need to move my eyebrows a little bit closer towards my nose because I am a product of my generation in which we overplucked our eyebrows. And that was me. Okay, so I have a little stamp, which is so cute. Look at this cute little stamp. 
and I have a spoolie with a angled brush on one end and a spoolie on the other. And we have our pomade. Look at, you can see. <laughs> In number three. This color's a little cool for me. Actually, it's a lot cool for me. I like a little bit of a warmer. It might look more natural that way, but I like a little bit warmer. Okay, so we are going to dip into this pomade. Dip, 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 dip. It's weird because it says to tap off the excess, but okay. So we're going to start over on this side, okay? Come on, focus camera. That looks awesome. I'm kind of at a loss for words, actually. That looks awesome. Holy crap. They fucking killed it. The color's even not too cool. I thought it would be too cool, but it's not. I finally have a thicker brow. Oh my god, I love this. Okay, I need to clean off the side I just used because I'm going to flip it to use the other side. I'm obsessed so far. Wow, guys, I'm actually super, 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 super impressed. And I, like, don't know much about brows, but I'm definitely going to be using this again. I'm excited to try different um, stencils because maybe there's a better stencil for me. I'm just, like gonna loosen this stencil up a bit because it's really tight because it's fresh plastic and then I'm gonna put it on this side all right here we go let's do this again so dippity dip dip tappity tap tap and let's go dip 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 tap 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 feels weird, right? Like it feels I feel like I need to like really get into this pomade. Okay, here's the magic. Okay, so this one's a little bit better than this one. Just from my own like application okay so look at this component so it, it looks cool but it's definitely a perfect shade for me and then so I've been tapping it off here like it tells me to do and then it just has this like stamper brush which actually works really freaking well I'm just gonna like get the excess off so I can definitely 100% use this again. Thank you so much iMethod for sending this to me. This is something I wouldn't ever buy, but I absolutely love it. Like super impressed, love it. Okay, so I'm gonna just take this spoolie and put this product through my natural brows. That looks great. This one looks better than the other one. And it's definitely like a little bit closer to my eye than this one. But I really love it. I think they freaking nailed it. <gasps> I'm so impressed. Good job. Good job, iMethod. So excited. Thank you so very much for sending this to me. I'm going to be tagging them below. And I just... I'm pretty gobsmacked about it, actually. I will definitely, definitely be using this again, and I highly recommend getting this, guys. Like, if eyebrows are important to you and it takes you forever, like, I've watched YouTubers who are like, eyebrows take me 40 minutes, and I'm like, 40 minutes? That took a minute? Two minutes? Not even? And it looks 
so good. I'm so excited to try around this. I'm so excited to try a bunch of different stencils and kind of figure out what looks best on me and how to do it better because I will 100% be using this again. I have a best beauty of 2022. This just might make it on it and I've tried it once. <gasps> so excited. Thank you so much for joining me today, guys. I hope you had a great holiday season and I hope all of your New Year's resolutions come true and come back next time. Be well, take care.